Hey, how's it going everyone? So for this video, I'm showing you how to install Fallout 4 Script Extender. So to do so, simply Google F4SE and you'll get the first result here, which is f4se.silverlock.org. Click here. And then the current build is what you probably most likely want to download. And we're gonna go ahead and download that as a 7-zip archive. And if you don't know what that is, that's just a different type of file compression that's different than the standard .zip. So you'll, you'll need a separate tool for that. And uh, the tool is called 7-zip. So if you don't have 7-zip installed, you'll need to download this. You'll probably want to get the 64-bit version. So once you got that installed, we'll go ahead and download the 7-zip archive here for Fallout 4 Script Extender. Open up our Downloads folder, extract it. Find the extracted archive. And then we're going to copy all the items here shown, except for the SRC folder, because the SRC folder just has a bunch of code that's used to make the Fallout 4 Script Extender, so you don't really need that. But if you're a programmer, you might be interested in checking it out. So anyways, we're going to copy all these guys. Go to your Fallout 4 folder. Uh, for me, it's in my Steam folder, so C, Program Files, Times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. And then paste it right here. And that's pretty much it. The next step, I would say, is to, of course, verify that the Fallout 4 script extender works. So what I usually like to do is to create a shortcut to the Fallout 4 script extender, and then put this on my desktop or whatever, right? Um, so it's going to go ahead and demonstrate real quick that the Fallout 4 script extender works. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really got to do. It's pretty simple. So we'll go to our settings here. And then in this corner right here, it's a pretty tiny font, so it might be kind of messed up from the video to compression. But you'll see Fallout 4 script extender 0.1.1 release. And then over here is that's the official patch version from Bethesda. And that's pretty much it. Another way to get um, the Fallout 4 script extender and to verify that's working is to do get F4SE version. And then you should see something printed to the console of like Fallout 4 script extended version 0.1.1. So yeah, that's it. Pretty simple overall.